Hi friends, uh, we are going to look at a key concept in arithmetic progressions today. And as you all know, arithmetic progressions are numbers of or a set of numbers which have a kind of a progression where every next digit is gone is got by adding a certain digit to the original number. So what you see on a screen is a kind of an arithmetic progression. Now one of the key points of APs is the ability to find the sum of an AP. And when you talk about sum of an AP, uh, APs are defined by three terms. A which is the first term of the AP. D known as the common difference and N known as the number of terms in the AP. So when you're talking about sum of an AP, the sum to N terms SN is given by the formula N by 2 into bracket open 2A plus N minus 1 into D. However, as I'm going to show you, this approach of an AP is quite cumbersome. So for example, the AP that you see on top, this 4, 7, 10, 13, 16, 19, 22 and 25, this AP can be seen to have 8 terms. So using this formula, you'll get your sum as 8 by 2 into 2A, that's 8 plus n minus 1 that's 7 into d so that's again 3 here so if you solve that the value you would get will be 4 into 29 4 into 29 that's equals to 116 there are the much simpler way of doing the same thing and that depends on the fact that every AP has an average and the average of an AP is given by the average of the first and last terms or in fact any other pair of corresponding terms within an AP. So in this case the sum can also be got by 8 into 14.5 which will also give us 116 where 14.5 is the average represented by 4 and 25 it's also the average of the numbers 7 and 22 it's also the average of 10 and 19 and 13 and 16 so the average of the AP is visible in any pair of corresponding terms in the AP so in AP if you can find two corresponding terms and you know the number of terms the number of the total becomes basically n into average.